Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Mark from Cricket Bat Info and today we're doing something really different. This is nostalgia time. So many thanks to Jono, who's also on the Discord server. He's acquired a mint condition Grey Nichols Jet. Now these bats, I had to reach out to Mark Middleton, who's a collector of specifically Grey Nichols. Uh, and he's given me photos of the 2007-2008 Greg Chapel Cricket Centre catalogue. And that's when this bat came out, 2007-2008. And it's in pretty immaculate condition. Yes, it has been oiled in that. Uh, but yeah, look at that shape. It's so different when we're looking back 13 years. So this channel doesn't really do a lot of um, old models. But we're cooked up at the moment. Um, it's a nice looking bat. I do like that profile. It's got so much wood down through that uh, middle there. Um, Phil Jakes used to use it, uh, Mark said. So that was his bat. And this bat actually, this is the 750 which is grade one. The top of the line which was the thousand then uh, actually came with the carbo handle. Um, you can see here the original stickers on it. We can see here it's got 2.96 as the bat weight be interesting to see how it's actually held up in that respect. Uh, some sort of uh, sticker there, I think that's the pink ribbon for the McGrath Foundation. And the original sticker here which says uh, Jet 750 short handle. So I like these sort of bats, it reminds me of the Sabre or um, variations of the Scoop, uh, even the E41 Scoop, uh, all had this lower position Scoop to allow wood to extend further down but not impinge the the actual pickup of the bat so if you imagine if you instead of doing a scoop you tried to scallop this out well it would look terrible it would basically lose so much willow here uh, and maintain it there it just look odd so instead what you've got here is a, a groove coming in here there's been different variations of this you can see that straightness of the grooving that they've done there uh, and the sticker slammed over the top uh, so it doesn't look too ugly. Yes, the bat did have some damage. It's uh, been in storage, uh, but it's never been used. And you can see that from the toe. Uh, you wouldn't see toes like that if that had been used. That's just been sitting there in storage. Um, so fantastic, even the original stickers. So yeah, this is the sort of bat collectors like to actually get their hands on and put in their collection. Um, Johnny's actually planning on using this next season. So let's see how it actually works as far as the gauge. So remember what this is 67 mil. Let's see exactly how these sort of bats go. And look at that, it's nearly up to the top. So we're looking at about a 65 mil spine and the five mil camber straight off. So very traditional. Uh, it's like probably a, a hmm, it's actually maybe a six mil camber, to be honest. Um, yeah, and that edge, it, mean, it doesn't fill the gauge at all. So we're looking probably about 30 mils there, uh, but going much more for a full convex sort of shape with the scooping taken out to lighten the bat and to balance it. Uh, that sort of full shape taken all the way up through the shoulders, nice thick shoulders, which you see now these days in only player bats. You can see that thickness there. The Feel of the handle. Um, look, it doesn't feel uh, very different to the current uh, handles, even though it's 13 years old. Um, I don't like uh, octopus grips, uh, and this is the original grip. Uh, Jono has actually kindly supplied a replacement grip uh, to go on, but I thought you might as well see it in its original state. I feel like Vintage Roadshow, to be honest. Let's roll back the handle and see if it falls apart. So this is prior to GN Australia actually changing to um, tapes as binding. This is the original uh, binding that they would use. And yeah, this is a handmade in Melbourne. Original handle there with uh, three cork. Very interesting. Um, obviously that handle has been switched out for the ones they currently do. Um, remember, that there was a decision taken in the mid to late 2010s to 
change these to um, shock absorbing handles. So there's a bit of a difference that goes on down the splice. So this is different handle technology. Uh, and look at the actual bands here. There's no real uh, uh, effort to make these, you know, as detailed as what we currently see. Um, it's got that sort of uh, Swahili shield sort of look on the back. And yeah, by today's standards, it looks pretty <coughs> shit, to be honest. Um, Graynickels.com.au, English Willow Jet, and that nice full shape. Let's do some measurements. So even with that 6mm camber, we're looking at a nice thick uh, edge down at the toe. And in the centre here, because that concave look, 27mm, so quite thick. Now this edge is defined by that, but you can see how quickly it, it rises. So we'll do the edge uh, shape here, and it's only 27, 28 maybe. Uh, and up the top here, we're looking at 14 mil, quite a bit of rounding and um, boning that's already been achieved before it's even gone out of the factory, which is really good. Uh, you know, edges weren't such a big thing. You didn't buy bats for big edges those days. You bought them for the shape and the feel and the pickup and the quality of the willow. Up here, 36 mil, so quite nice. And as I said, that handle, it's actually on the thicker side with that octopus shape. I imagine if I change that, it would feel slightly better than medium. So it's a decent thickness. We'll check the width of the bat. I don't think there's anything skimped here. And it says 107.7, so it's perfect. Uh, the willow quality itself, they say grade one. You've got a tiny little bit of speck and some marbling here and a little pin knot here. Um, look, I guess that's their sort of lower grade one. I guess the player's willow would be more uh, pretty, uh, but grey nickel's generally um, graded on uh, performance, not looks. And yeah, you know, you've got this sort of thing here. These days, you know, you probably see stickers that would expand past that in some brands to to make that look better for your eyes. I mean, I'm talking about you, MRF. Comment on the pickup. So, all that full feel would normally make it pick up um, its weight whatever that is. In my hands, it feels really, really nice. Uh, that octopus group is really balancing it and it feels 2.8 in my hands. Um, it's not a real light bat that I'm gonna really uh, swing hard. It's got a lot of power in that shape. Let's see what it actually weighs. Which I don't know. And you can see there 210. So it said originally 296, it's put on a tiny little bit of weight, but it picks up way better than that because it's got so much weight uh, and thickness up here that it just helps that pick up. It makes it feel a lot nicer in the hands than it, than it actually is in, in real terms. Okay, so the bat has been oiled and it's never been used. We're going to bring in its younger sibling. And if it's the first time you're visiting the channel, uh, please like and subscribe. What I do here is not for money, it's just for a hobby. Uh, and you help the channel by watching it till the end. So we tape, tap from the bottom and looking at rebound. So that's really on the harder side with that flat face and it's been used. And now we'll try this bat, which I imagine the, the pressing has relaxed a bit over the years, but we'll see. Generally, grey nickels were a much harder press those days before they did ready press and all this sort of stuff. Off centre. Harder off that bit of marbling there. Nothing really going on down there at the toe. You'd expect like any bat, this is your sort of performance area. So it's really a, a mid position bat, extending up into a higher position where there's none of that concaving. So there's plenty going on up here and in that mid position. Not really down here as its forte. So at this point, what I thought about the willow was that it was older 
and just like old bats that I've got, it takes a little bit of time, a little bit of use to get them performing. And I think that once this is knocked in, it will start to go. Will it reach the, the performance level of the Ultimate sitting next to it? I can't really comment on that. So I really like to thank Jono for providing me with a bit of nostalgia. Uh, I do like uh, Grey Nichols bats, but not more than any other particular bat. Um, and it's nice to see these older shapes and to see, you know, where we sort of came from. There's still a big shape when you compare it side on with that. There's still a lot of uh, wood in the bat. So it's nice, I like it. Um, thank you very much to Jono. That is the Grey Nichols Jet from 2007 to 2008.